Blessed is our God, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, that comforted the spirit of truth throughout everywhere and fillest all things, spread your blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, Lord my God, thou art very great, thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of thy chambers on the waters, who makest the clouds thy chariot, who rideth on the wings of the wind. Who makest thy angel spirits and thy ministers of fiery flame? Thou dost set the earth in its foundation, so that it should never be shaken. Thou dost cover it with the deep as with the garment, and the water stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled at the sound of thy thunder, they took to flight. At the, the mountains rose, the valley sink down to the place which thou dost appoint for them. Thou dost set a bound which they shall not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. Thou makest springs stretch forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches from thy lofty abode. Thou waters the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy word. Thou didst cause the grass to grow for the cattle, fodder for the animals that serve man. That he may bring forth fruit from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly. The cedars of Lebanon which he planted in them. The birds build their nests. The stork has their home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild ghosts, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers thou hast made, the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows its time for setting. Thou makest darkness, and it is night, when all the beasts of the forest creep forth, the young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes, man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things, both small and great. There go the ships in Leviathan, which thou dost form to sport in it. These all look to thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest to them, they gather it up. When thou openest thy hand, they are filled with good things. When thou hidest thy face, they are dismayed. When thou takest away their spirit, they die and return to their dust. When thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing praises to my God while I am being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth and let the wicked be, be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows its time for setting, thou makest darkness and it is night. O Lord, how manifold are thy works, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto Alleluia, 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 Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 Glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. 
For our Metropolitan T, kind of Bishop Paul, for the Honorable Priest of the Diaconate in Christ, for all clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Born to thee, our dual glory, on in worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Therefore, death was bound by thy voice, 
and great bulls were loosened by thy hand. The band of disciples was filled with joy. One song of adoration was sung by all. Blessed art thou, O Savior, have mercy on us. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. My voice is in the kingdom of hell, O Lord. My powerful word raised the tomb, the one who was for descent. Lazarus became the saving first fruits of the world's regeneration. All things are possible for thee, O Lord and King of all. Grant thy servants cleansing and great mercy. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. Thou didst come to the tomb of Lazarus, O Lord, and didst call him by name, wishing to assure the disciples of thine own resurrection. Hell was vanquished. It released Lazarus, who was for descent. He cried out to thee. Glory to the O blessed Lord. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Now it is come to Bethany to wake Lazarus, O Lord, accompanied by thy disciples. Thou didst weep for him, but he was raised by thine almighty power. A man for days dead cried to thee, O our Savior. Glory to thee, O blessed Lord. In the eighth dawn, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We have completed the forty days that profit our souls. Let us rejoice, city of Bethany, home of Lazarus. Rejoice, Mary and Martha, his sisters. Tomorrow Christ will come and raise your dead brother to life. Bitter and unsatisfied, hell will hear his voice. Shaking and groaning, it will release from Lazarus. The assembly of Hebrews will be amazed. They will greet him with palms and branches. Though the priests and elders look on him with envy and malice, the children shall praise him in song. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Wisdom, gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed, O Jesus Christ. Now that we have come up to the setting of the sun and behold the light of the evening, we praise the Lord Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all time to worship thee with voices of praise, O Son of God. Sixth tone, our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. If it had not
not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel not say, For your days in the day of the Lord, who made heaven Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven Wisdom, the reading is from Genesis, let us attend. And when Jacob had finished commanding his sons, he drew his feet up into the bed and breathed his last and was gathered to his people. Then Joseph fell on his father's face and wept over him and kissed him. And Joseph commanded his servants, the physicians, to embalm his father. So the physicians embalmed Israel. Forty days were required for him, for such are the days required for those who are embalmed. And the Egyptians mourned for him seventy days. Now when the days of his mourning were past, Joseph spoke to the household of Pharaoh, saying, if now I have found favor in your eyes, please speak to the, in the hearing of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Behold, I am dying in my grave, which I dug for myself in the land of Canaan. There you shall bury me. Now, therefore, please let me go up and bury my father, and I will come back. And Pharaoh said, Go up and bury your father, as he made you swear. So Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Egypt, as well as all the house of Joseph, his brothers, and his father's house, only their little ones, their flocks, and their herds they left in the land of Goshen. And there went up with him both chariots and horsemen, and it was a, ver it was a very great gathering. Then they came to the threshing floor of Atad, which is beyond the Jordan, and they mourned there with a great and very solemn lamentation. He observed seven days of mourning for his father, and when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning at the threshing floor of Adit, they said, This is a deep mourning of the Egyptians. Therefore its name was called Abel Mizriam, which is beyond the Jordan. So his sons did for him just as he had commanded them, for his sons carried him to the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of Mechpelah before Mamre, which Abraham bought for the field with the field from Ephron the Hittite as property for a burial place. And after he had buried his father, Joseph returned to Egypt, and his brothers and all who went up with him to bury his father. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, Perhaps Joseph will hate us, and may actually repay us for all the evil which we did to him. So they sent messengers to Joseph, Joseph saying, before your father died, he commanded, saying, Thus you shall say to Joseph, I beg you, please forgive the trespass of your brothers and their sin, for they did evil to you. Now please forgive the trespass of the servants of the God of your father. And Joseph wept when they spoke to him. Then his brothers also went and fell before his face and said, Behold, we are your servants. Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid, for, I, for am I in the place of God? But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring it about, as it is this day, to save many people alive. Now therefore do not be afraid, I will provide for you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. So Joseph dwelt in Egypt in his father's household, and Joseph lived one hundred and ten years. Joseph saw Ephraim's children into the third generation. The children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, were also brought up on Joseph's knees. And Joseph said to his brethren, I am dying, but God will surely visit you and bring you out of this land to the land of which he swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Then Joseph took an oath from the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones from here. So Joseph died, being one hundred and ten years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. Wisdom, uh, the Prochemenon in the fourth tone. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. The scepter of the wickedness shall not rest upon the land allotted to the righteous. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. 
from the reading from Proverbs. Let us attend. Open your mouth for the speeches in the in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth to judge righteously and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous wife for her worth is far above rubies. rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her, so he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands. She is like the merchant. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maidservant. She considers a field and buys it. From her profit she plants a vineyard. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. She pierces. She perceives that her merchandise is good and her lamp does not go out by night. She stretches out her hands to the distaff and her, and her hand holds the spindle. She extends her hand to the poor, yes, she reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for the household, for all her household is clothed with scarlet. She makes tapestry for herself, her clothing is fine, linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies ashes for the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom and on her tongue is the law of kindness. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also and, and praises her. Many daughters have done well, but you excel, you excel them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. God save the Lord, he keepeth the feebly without sin. Blessed is the Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorifies thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed are thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed are thou, O God, master, make me to understand thy commandments. Blessed are thou, holy, run in mercy me with thy precepts. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever, despite not the works of thine hands. To thee belongs worship, to thee belongs praise, to thee belongs glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto it is of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, such as ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable, profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, in a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now endeavor and unto ages of ages. Peace be unto all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. O Lord our God, who didst bow the heavens and came down for the salvation of the human race, look upon thy servants and thine inheritance, for unto thee, the fearful judge who yet lovest mankind, have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks. Awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, and from vain thoughts and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. complete in the forty days that profit our souls. Now let us beg the lover of man in a 
enable us to see the holy week of thy passion, that we may glorify thy mighty work, thy wonderful plan for our salvation, as we sing with one heart and voice, O Lord, glory to thee. To the end of thine eyes, O thou art enthroned in the heavens, Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he have mercy on us. We have complete in the forty days that profit our souls. Now let us beg the lover of man, enable us to see the holy week of thy passion, that we may glorify thy mighty work. Thy wonderful plan for our salvation, as we sing with one heart and voice, O Lord, glory to Thee. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we've had more than enough of contempt. Too long our soul has been sated with the scorn of those who are at ease, the contempt of the proud. O martyrs of the Lord, we beseech you to intercede with our God, that he may forgive our many sins, and grant our souls abundant mercy. In the same tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Standing by the tomb of Lazarus, our Saviour, Thou didst call to thy friend who was dead. He heard thy voice and the whole cast from sleep. Mortality was shaken by immortality. By thy word the bound was unbound. All is possible, all things serve to submit to thee, O loving Lord. O our Saviour, glory to Oh, now let us that thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the place of all people, our light to lighten it, the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy most have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy most have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy most have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now endeavor unto ages of ages. Amen. My Lazarus from the dead before thy passion, thou didst confirm the universal resurrection of Christ, Lord, like the children with the bonds of victory, we cry out to the avanquisher of death, O Son, in the highest, blessed is he that comes in the name. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him, and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his trouble. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is God. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our 
Metropolitan Deacon, for our Bishop Paul, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this Holy Church. And for all our fathers and brethren, the orthodoxy part of this life before us, especially the newly departed servants of God, Anna and Patricia, who here know in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, and for the servants of God, those here present and those struggling against every evil in this world right now. And for the pardon and remission of their sins, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people who press into a way to thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. mankind, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now endeavor and unto ages of ages. Wisdom. Christ our God, the existing one, is blessed always, now endeavor and unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save all. Children and more glorious be all compared on the seraphim. With us we find it to give us with all the word. True Theotokos, we magnify. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our sure hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto riches of ages, amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Amen. May Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure brother, through the prayers of the holy glorious the Lord of apostles, especially Paul, through the prayers of Saint Lazarus, whom we commemorate this day, of the holy righteous answers of God, Joachim and Anne, and of all thy saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is a good God, and he loves mankind. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is in every So tomorrow we, so today we finish uh, this 40 day fast uh, of great. Uh, we um, finished doing so many things as part of this whole season. Um, finished reading certain scripture readings. Uh, we've actually put away for next year these Lenten melodies. We'll have different melodies next week uh, for Holy Week. So there's a lot of things that we're shifting right now into the Feast of Lazarus and also uh, looking at Palm Sunday the next day. So uh, tomorrow we have live streaming from St. Paul's litur for liturgy at 9.30. So if you can join us, please do. Have a good day. Good evening.